If you could take a pill to get rid of fat, would you do it? I think the answer to that is a resounding yes. And that's what companies selling L carnitin as a supplement proposed that it can do. Carnitin turns fat into energy. So by that theory, I think it makes sense. But does it actually work? Like many things, I get a lot of my ideas from from you all. And I had a cousin who was like, hey, do you know of any cortisol supplements? And when she's asked me that, I thought she meant about stress. Like cortisol is very important in terms of, of stress, regulating stress, raising stress when necessary. There are times whenever it's necessary and then bring it back down when it's not necessary. But when she was asking me, she was interested in it in terms of weight loss. And just to preface, there's no substitute for weight loss for burning more calories than you're consuming. And there's just no way around that. But if you're looking to aid in weight loss, you know, there are some supplements that could work. And is L-carnitin one of them? Well, let's find out. So L-carnitin is an amino acid that transports fatty acids into your cells and processes them for energy. It turns fat into energy. So inside of the body, L-carnitin acts similar to cortisol. And cortisol is great for regulating your body's stress response. So we know that stress and carnitin are related, and we know that carnitin plays a huge role in energy production. Most people's bodies make enough carnitin to meet the daily needs. It's found in things such as meat, fish, poultry, milk. And what about carnitin athletic performance? Some athletes like to take carnitin as a supplement to improve performance. However, taking carnitin as a supplement does not appear to improve or increase the body's use of oxygen and does not appear to improve metabolic status when exercising. Carnitin as a supplement also might be beneficial in terms of aging because of its effect on the mitochondrial process. We know that the mitochondria is the key factory for energy and energy production in the body. And it seems as though as we age, some supplementation with L-carnitin may improve mental function and reduce deterioration in older adults with mild cognitive impairment and Alzheimer's disease. So now while you're all here, how L-carnitin impacts weight loss and body composition, so I found this article on PubMed, the effects of L-carnitin supplementation on weight loss and body composition. I will preface this by saying that it's a systemic review, a meta-analysis. And if my bosses and research were here, they would not let me get away with using this as a um, good source. They would rather me go into each of these 37 trials and you know validate each source independently. But they're not here, and I hope none of you tell them, and I hope maybe they don't see, but uh, we're going to use it anyway. So what this meta-analysis found is that L-carnitin supplementation provides a modest redu reducing effect on body weight, BMI, and fat mass, especially in adults. So what are some of the takeaways from this L-carnitin as far as fat loss is concerned? So carnitin doesn't seem to do much for weight loss. It's very clear that the most important thing for weight loss is to have less calories coming in than you have going out. And what is not mentioned that I find to be extremely true is that oftentimes new gear, new supplements re-excites you into getting into fitness or health. And I know it to be true. Anytime I get a new piece of gear, anytime I get new supplements, I'm way more excited to hit the gym the next day and let me see. Like, well, I'm gonna run this experiment and see if it works or not. And we might call this the placebo effect. If that's the case for you, and that's what L-carnitin is going to do for you, then it might be worth the 30 bucks that you're gonna to pay to get the supplement. 